What is up guys, the LA Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 22 of my MLB 17 The Show, Road to the Show series, featuring Troy Tol Tillman, the uh, shortstop for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now in the last episode, we discussed, at the end of the last episode, we discussed that uh, we kind of reached the point that this season is kind of a lost one. I mean, look at, look at this. Loss, 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 win. Loss, loss, loss. Loss, loss, win. Loss, 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 win. Loss, loss, loss. We don't, we don't really win games here. Um, I discussed just going straight to the Kansas City Royals series and playing that, then seeing um, basically if there's any, uh, basically going to the offseason and see what we want to do there and what team we want to play for. Um, so we're going to just slowly go through this, make sure our stats don't decline a whole lot. So we need to upgrade that, which I, I really just want to make sure my stats don't get awfully declined, um, which sometimes can happen. Oh, no way. No way, when I'm not playing, we're winning a lot of games. Who would have known? So we need 70 more points. Hoping that stat doesn't go down. Dude, you're kidding me for winning all these games without me playing. Okay, there we go, we upgrade that. Um, they're giving me like just enough points to avoid my stats from declining, so that's pretty cool. Arm accuracy is a 94 after that, plus the, the plus three bonus, I have a 97 arm accuracy. My guy is almost a perfect arm. I mean, where did we go on here? We went on a seven game winning streak. How's our guys, our stat line will be that we're batting 348 guys. Our guys batting 348 and that's through the simulation and everything as well. So you can see our average just slowly dipping if you look at the top. Yeah, it dropped to 317. Hit a few home runs. I think that's pretty cool is that you can see our stat line as we're simming day by day. Um, ooh, goodness gracious, we got some stuff to upgrade. Um, Our guy is not playing good though. The average is dipping if you're looking at it. Yeah, it's 298 now, so it finally dropped. Finally dropped below. Okay, we're gonna need to work on this arm strength. I don't want to drop below 99. I mean, I gotta wait before it drops below 99 to even upgrade it, but um, we don't have any money, or we don't have any stubs, is what I meant to say, so. We might just need to let that one drop off just a little bit until, uh, until what's it called until next season or something so we can actually upgrade it um because i'm still not like i said i'm still not in that motivational period of actually playing a game because i mean look our record is is awful our coach calling in for something what's going on here what can we do to give ourselves something to feel good about when the season wraps up forget where we are in the race let's win this month okay that's not gonna make me feel any better about anything Like, you know what, I'll just, I'll, I'm going to buy 1,000 subs just to make sure that my stats don't go down. Just for the simulation, because the 1,000 subs will actually end up affecting my player almost at all. Um, just want to make sure that my stats don't decline. For those of you who understand. So upgrade that real quick, and then the arm strength. We'll get there. I still got to wait for it to drop, so. It's not even dropping at all. That's what I don't understand. I mean, we're batting 298, so... And we're on a win streak. So I guess the pep talk worked a little bit for somebody. I don't... I don't think it helped me at all, because I'm still... I'm still not feeling any better about our team losing all these games. I just have to keep exiting to see if this... No, this still hasn't gone down. I'm just waiting for that, that arm strength to go down. It still hasn't for some reason. Okay, we're batting 308. Our guy's batting 308 as a rookie. I mean, come on, you gotta... You, you gotta... Okay, do I even have a chance at the Rookie of the Year? Oh, I'm first in Rookie of the Year! You gotta be kidding me. I did not think... Okay, these guys got way more games than us, though. This prior guy, he played 139 games. We played 64, and we have more home runs and all that stuff. So we've been just... I guess we've just been roping the ball. That's awesome. I am stoked about that. Um... 36 RBI, I mean, not the craziest stat line, but I mean, if you if you put our stats in like a full season type of format, we would have we would have had a pretty crazy season. Uh, we probably would be an all-star, to be honest. I don't, okay, we're 75 and 84. Braves finished with probably about the same record, it looks like. Um, and there's not a whole lot of... Uh, motivation to remain on this team 
or play these games even more so. So we're going to sim those games. Uh, we finished back 301. Please tell me. Please tell me. Congrats on winning the NL Rookie of the Year. You earned it. Paul Goldschmidt won MVP. So we have the MVP on our team. It just obviously didn't do enough. Uh, he was also... He also won the batting title. Um, and then, yep, I obviously won Rookie of the Year. We probably have the best rookie in the league right now. Uh, ben Attendee had a great year as well, but I would say we played a little bit better considering we played less games. I would say we had a great year. I mean, the past few years, the Rookie of the Year in the uh, National League has been a pretty great player. So we're we're lining up to uh, hopefully follow in those guys' footsteps a little bit. His arm strength still hasn't gone down. I don't, maybe once you reach 99 stat, it just won't go down. Um, so let's upgrade our contact a little bit. Now that we have those points, and now that my, I guess my arm strength won't go down, it doesn't hurt to upgrade those points. We're going to send the postseason, obviously, because this doesn't make a difference. The, in the top right, the Blue Jays have defeated the Dodgers in the 2017 World Series. So the Blue Jays finally broke that threshold where they were not. Um, Fernando Rodney retired. Because I remember they, they dumped a lot in Suzuki and Beltran. Hall of Fame players right there. I remember they dumped a lot of uh, money into getting some really good guys, and they didn't really go that far. I think they went to the ALCS. Um, and here we go. What, what's this, what's going on here? That's our season. I know some kids. I know some kids gonna be happy to have their daddies home for a while. This is the weirdest management conversation I've ever had in my life. I know some kids gonna be happy to have their daddies home for a while. So I guess it's not all bad. Thanks for your hard work as usual. Kiss those babies for me. Bro, I'm 18 years old. Oh, I get the idea. Because our scene's over, we get to attend to our family. Dude, I'm my guy's 19 years old. I'm not I'm not kissing any babies. Not yet. <laughs> so we're um Grinky dropped to an 82 overall. What the hell? He's not even good. There's like not enough motivation for me to stay on this team. Cause he, he declined big time. He's only 82 now. Now this team has like no talent. Yeah, this is this is not good. I mean, there's teams that are worse, but I, I want to play for a contender, you know? I don't... We still don't have a contract offer, really. Here we go. Here's a nice little video of nothing. Just calling to check in, Troy. I'm not even here. I, I must have butt-dialed you, because my guy's not even aware of what, what's going on. Anything particular? As I'm, I'm literally not in the screen. Troy, it might be a good idea to review how MLB rookie contracts work. So when the time comes, they have some choices. You'll be informed. Good idea. Is he just gonna? If he's just gonna talk about arbitration and all that stuff, I already know this. You need six years in the majors before you're eligible for free agency. But after three years of service, you become eligible for arbitration. That's a player's first chance for the big money. You're just stuck. That's that's the main thing. I want to see if Road of the Show is giving me a, a way of working around being stuck. Kind of a things can sometimes happen, which is why it's good for me to know your goals. And three years in, when a player's arbitration, he starts to have leverage in negotiation. I know arbitration. That's You get the one-year contract based off your previous year performance. It's, it's. I would say most people that know baseball have learned about arbitration and all that stuff. Especially if you play MLB The Show when you're doing like rebuilds and stuff. You need to understand the idea of arbitration. Do you update me on how you're feeling about your situation? Yes, I, I do actually. I, I do want to let you know. Is your outlook good looking ahead to next season? Not so much. I'll be honest. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. The thing is, I like the Diamondbacks a lot. I like to take my talents. Also, it's it's really tough for me to say this because I do like the Diamondbacks and I like the franchise. And we might come back here. But I just I can't play for a team where for um. Give me a player option. I mean, the money doesn't change anything, so I have no reason to, to negotiate big money just besides greed. Um, it's not like I can buy anything with that contract anyways, but... I don't know. It just... Like I said, nothing negative about this team. It's just we don't have the talent to contend, and it kind of... It takes away from the series for me. It takes away from, from playing on this team. So I think we want three years, so then we'll actually have arbitration. 
You mean offering you three years? No, I'm. Ugh. We, I guess we can do the extra year for the arbitration because that's probably all they're available for. We have they have seventy six million dollars available. They better make some moves. So this is our first off season. We're gonna just sim through and see if our team does anything. I, I don't know what we should be expecting. I mean, we obviously don't have to say anything that happens here. We're gonna call into management. Did you trade me in the off season? Did you? I've been dealt to the Rays. Is that what team I was on in the beginning? No, that's just how I'm on with, with Randy Johnson. Pretty disappointing. I don't want to be on the raise. <laughs> so I'm just what am I gonna I'm just gonna jump ship every single like every single game I'm gonna play for a new team. Just until they put me on a good one. Thank you. We'll just say we're excited. Um, Cause it won't make a difference for now. I mean, this team, this team is better than the Diamondbacks. <laughs> it's just funny. We get, we just keep getting traded. Um, he's got a pretty good rotation. Decent bullpen. He's got a better closer. How did last year go for them? I thought they had a good record for some reason. I mean, a little bit less hitting talent, but still some great players. I mean, Kieran Meyer's not the best hitter, but he's got great fielding out there. Dickerson's pretty good. Tell me, then obviously Longo can hit the ball. You know, Wilson Ramos can hit the ball pretty good as a catcher. Um, this guy needs to be called up. This Lustig guy, he looks pretty good. He's young, he's talented, he's got A potential. Call him up. Then we got Corey, yeah, we already, we already mentioned him. Yeah, we got a pretty good team here. We'll, we'll give the Rays a shot. I don't have any interest in just, um... I don't know, I don't have any interest in just constantly swapping teams. I just I want to give a team a shot. This will be our first full year, so maybe we can make a difference. Uh, in spring training, I don't think your stats go down a lot, and I don't feel like playing spring training, so we'll just take the extra points we get from this. Um, we're not even playing like we're batting. I mean, actually, we finished batting 275 with six home runs in one month and 900 training points. So that's pretty sweet. Just advance the regular season, and we'll see. Does our team look any different? We're going to start off with a pretty awesome road series out in Toronto, then uh, out in New York. So that's a pretty cool back-to-back -back series we got going on there. I'm excited for that. Kiermaier starting on the DL. Fractures his form. Did he fracture his form in spring training? And our closing pitcher is out as well with a sprained elbow ligament. Look, that's only a one to six day. Situation, Chris Archer's coming off an all-star year. He played, yeah, no, he had a great year. Um... I don't see any specific moves that we made. I'm about an 86 overall. And Lustig, oh, Lustig got called up, so I'm happy about that. Um, and with that being the case, are we actually an 86 overall? No, they're just saying that. So, um, no, I'm actually, I'm very happy with how all this is working out. We got some points here, we'll dump it like that. Now we're 95 overall, plus the 6 from our equipment. We're in 91 overall. So our guys looking really good. So in the next episode, we'll play our first series. Just a two or a quick game, quick little two-game series against the uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, hopefully you guys are fine with us being at Tampa Bay right now. If you're not, just comment that you're not. And we'll just get traded, I guess, like every other episode. And just see, uh, eventually we'll hop on to a team that we enjoy. But obviously the Blue Jays are the, the defending world champions. So we have something to uh, play for in this, in this first series. It should be interesting. So with that being the case, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please click that like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and what I could do to make it more interesting in the comment section below. And lastly, subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.